Well, we have Hello, Kevin Costner and his beautiful wife coming up to the stage. Wonderful color. Look at that. I wow. know. This is gorgeous. Who Seven. are you wearing? Lloyd Ford. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So how are you feeling tonight? What, uh, I'm... What are you Excited to be here, feeling good, yeah, feeling good. horrible. Sentences together here. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and present uh, an award tonight and, and look at everybody. Look at my wife. One of the things you've talked about is you get to do now, you know, real works that are passion, you're passionate about. I mean, black and white, yeah. things that you put a lot of your, your own time, your own money, your own passion into. As an actor at this stage of your career, how does it change, I mean, as you go through it? I mean, it seems like right now you're picking things that, that really have, maybe that was always true in your career. Well, it kind of always was. You know, I paid for, you know, I put money into Dances That's with Wolves. Right. I put money into uh, documentaries, into Swing Boat. When I, when I, if something's not going to get made and I'm in love with it, I cannot fall out of love with it. And that's what happened with Black or White. It was, it was too important of a movie. It was too big. It, it represented everything I like in movies. And it was actually talking about what we're, what we're spinning through right now and have been for a long time. So Black or White became really important and I think it will take its place nicely along films like Dancers with Wolves and Field of Dreams. It just, I think it has a chance to be classic. So at this point, it's more about what you're really passionate about. Well, it, no, I'll still make a popcorn movie. I mean, I like to cheer and I like to try to save the world. One guy. I mean, who can do so a little bit of both? Nobody. Uh, but you know, and, and I'm going to make the romantic comedies and the westerns. But once in a while, we get to make a movie about what's kind of going on in our life, in our world, and and this the the idea of what gets said in black or white when it comes to race is so powerful that you kind of wish you probably said what I get a chance to say. Uh, Octavia Spencer, the same thing. She gets to say things that she feels like she wanted to say not only for herself, but for her culture, her generation. Right. An amazing actress and a really timely piece of work. Congratulations on that and yeah. have a great evening. Enjoy tonight. presenting tonight and have fun. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.